I have discovered a new addiction and it's called Soul Speed 3 and Soul Soil or Soul Sand. This is an absolute blast. Look at this. <laughs> this is this is almost making me feel a bit sick. Anyway, I have been extremely busy since the last episode and I think in fact it's time for me to head over to my chair and tell you guys all about it. Hello! Yeah, so as I said, I've been very busy and what I mean by very busy is I've been playing, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. I am absolutely in love with this 1.16 nether update. Mojang has done such an amazing job. I've, I've, I've befriended the new hoglins. Dad? Hello? Oh, hello? Da! Friends? Fr friends, for friends forever? It's a bit of grass on the gold, but I, I also have one. BFF. I made them a fancy new home. It's like a prison, really. <laughs> they are all... They are very, very small, very small apartments. Featuring a built-in automatic trading unit. Right, so gold up here. Press the buttons. Start trading. Hello. You're upside down, sir. I am getting very rich on... Well, a little bit of everything, to be honest. A little bit of everything. There's quartz, there's leather, there's so much useful stuff, though. I did some more mining. I think I've got a new addiction. This is just so satisfying. They call this mining. <laughs> Lol. And found some more ancient debris. Ooh, that's a triple. Excuse me, lava, I will be needing that debris. Well, enough to make two more netherite ingots. Yep. What? They're seriously expensive, okay? Anyway, I gave one of them away as a present. Iskal man. <laughs> that is the funniest looking thing. <laughs> Hello, I come with I come with a gift. This is my gift for you, stress monster. The trilogy. <laughs> And the other one, well, well, the other one, the other one I have, I have right here in my inventory. And I've been thinking a lot about what I should do with it. I think, I think maybe I should upgrade my sword, Excalibur. I think that may be the good move. Or my trousers. Maybe my, I don't wear a helmet very often because of reasons. Hello. Hello. I'm chuffed to bits over this one. <laughs> Etho. Hello. Yep, helmet would be a bad idea. So I think, I think we should do the sword. I mean, how much? What's the damage diff? Ten attack damage versus that. That's not. That's wrong. Oh, where did I put my smithing table? They're useful now. Smithing table. I can never learn how to craft these. Okay, that's simple. All right. So let's see. This has ten attack damage versus eleven. So you do actually get a better sword, and it looks mega cool. It looks me- I'm gonna do it. I'm- I'm- yep. That looks- hello? That looks mega cool. I love- I love that color. Excalibur 2, 2.0. Oh, it's way too expensive. To start this episode off though, we are going to head back to our- I was gonna say gorgeous nether, but to be fair- to be fair, our- our hub area so far is looking pretty dull. We got a plan. Don't you worry. But the reason we are back here is because the hoglings are seriously mega, nay, you know what, I'd actually argue omega, omega powerful creatures that are added to Minecraft. I mean, just look at all of the stuff that they're given. They're giving us lots of soul sand and gravel. Look at this. Lots and lots of gravel. I no longer have to go and mine, I mean purchase at the barge, gravel. It's fantastic. It's absolutely great. They also give you iron, they give you leather, which is one of those resources that is always a little bit tricky to get. And quartz. You can get unlimited quartz with this. And all I gotta do, now that I've built this machine, is put gold in this hopper, press the button, and that starts the trading cycle until the gold runs out. The only problem is, even though, even though I had a really cool gold farm before the update and hoarded as much gold as I could, I'm running out very, very quickly. It may look like I have a lot of gold here, but at the rates I want to trade with him, them, and when I set this up in a more permanent, permanent way, 
we're gonna run out really really quickly so i i they, i have no choice i need a new gold farm and that's gonna be the project for today i want to build a new shiny mega omega gold farm of doom First thing first though, I need some resources to build this farm and quite a lot of it because as I said, it's it's gonna be an Omega farm. It's gonna be absolutely massive. Now, mainly what I'm gonna need is magma blocks and as it has it, <laughs> you can actually get the magma blocks through the hoglings themselves, which is kind of funny because magma blocks is going to be the main component of this of this gold farm that I'm going to build, which is which is not ironic. It's it's the opposite. I, I these guys may be secret geniuses. From what I've heard, they really dislike pigmen, and I need these to farm pigmen to get gold to give to these guys. So are are you a genius? I, I doubt it. Anyway, even though they give me magma blocks, I need an absolute ton of magma blocks. In fact, I got five empty shulker boxes that I'm going to try and fill up. And I, I don't even know at this point in time if that is going to be enough. Luckily, magma blocks are usually fairly simple to mine. All I got to do is find a big vein and because you can insta mine this, it usually goes pretty quick. It is a dangerous thing though. It's a very dangerous thing beca because of that. There's usually lava nearby or underneath. Yeah, even though there is a lot of this and I can insta mine it, this is probably gonna take a little while. I'm not gonna lie, I was so close of dying twice. Turns out that a gold helmet is these days very, very important when, when being in the nether. Thank you for your services, helmet. In other news, I managed to get myself three full boxes of magma blocks and a little bit more than half. And I think I, I was originally gonna get five, but I think this may actually be enough. Next up, I need turtle eggs. And I don't think, I don't think, I don't know if I've ever bred turtles. I think I may have done it once on a stream a long time ago, but I, I, I don't think I've done it to any extent. Luckily, I only need 10 or so eggs, so as long as we can find some turtles, it shouldn't be too bad. I haven't heard of any turtle slayer this season. I have flown to distant lands and I have yet to find a single turtle. This is not looking good. If I were a turtle, I would totally live on this island here. This is like, this is like the brilliant, the most perfect, perfect turtle land ever. Far away from, from any hermit that could hurt you. Far away from any skull that needs some turtle eggs. But I guess the hermit turtles are, are just stupid. No, you're not a turtle, but would, would, you, would you give me that trident? Oh, <laughs> really? Zero durability! <laughs> well, I've never seen that before! Put it safely away. That is... That is so funny. <laughs> that was mega like lucky. Oh, what have we here? Hello! Will you... Yes, I think... I think this is gonna work. Well, it did some stuff, but nothing... No eggs. Oh, he's doing it again. Okay, I... I heard... I heard egg sounds. Can you guys, can you guys move away? Are there eggs underneath there? There are eggs! Yes! Okay, silk touch pickaxe. Did I, did I get one? Yes, I did! Nice! Well, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Right, I need to do that one more time. Excuse me, sir. I'm just, I'm just here for, for some eggs. I think nine turtle eggs should be enough. If not, I know, I know where to look. Although it's, it's actually 3,000 blocks away from the hermit land. <laughs> Turtles are playing it safe. Home sweet home. Right, with the turtle eggs safely secured and brought all the way home to the omega tree. It's time to continue with our, with our list. We need two stacks of grindstones. That's, that's just enough for one. As I was saying, two stacks of grindstones. Two stacks of glazed terracotta and i'm gonna go with yellow i'll cook that up when i get back a full shulker box 
of glass. I promise I won't take more diamonds from my pile. <laughs> I've just realized that this sounds a little bit like a cooking show. I think this is the last of the bigger, bigger components that I need though. Hello. <laughs> of, of course. Yes. You want to buy Soul Speed 3 book? Are those diamond leggings? Yes. Yes. How much you offer for Soul Speed 3? Six flint. Did you... Again? F follow me. He's so annoying. Troubles keeping up. <laughs> I've made it all the way. I still can't see him though. We better zoom in. There, there he is. There he is. That, that took a long time. I hope I have a Soul Speed 3 book now. Otherwise, this would be quite embarrassing. Well, I do have two Soul Speed 2. And he gave me six flint. So, here, here you go. Here you go. Soul Speed 2. Ikea books. I wonder if Mambo is going to get as addicted to Soul Speed as I am. Anyway, I think it's... I think, I think we're almost ready. We're almost ready to start building this gold farm. The only thing that I need to do first is... I need to get on top of the nether and... Well, th these, guys, these guys are great. Have I said that these guys are great? They, they just have all the things I need. I need obsidian to build a portal. I need some enderpearls to get through. And I've already found a spot which should be just one bedrock layer. Right, so if I climb all the way up, all the way up to here, can I then throw, can I throw this enderpearl through? I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up. Here we go. Uh, no, that, 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 that didn't work. Maybe I need to put a ladder here as well. Please work. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Success. Well, turns out I'm not first up here. <laughs> right, let's try and make a portal here and see if we can link it back to the overworld. Go through. We should end up in my industrial district. Yep. Hopefully this will work. 128. So that should be the same as in the nether. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yes. It worked. It worked. I've got access to the roof once again. Well, with all of this prep work, I think I think I'm ready to start creating my new my my brand new shiny Omega Gold Farm of Doom. I have built quite a few gold farms in my days of playing Minecraft. It's one of those farms that I feel is is a good thing to have even before 116, but now in 116 it's it's insanely important to have. But I've always built the donut one one form of a donut farm where basically, you know, you stand in the middle, pigmen get angry, they run at you, basically like the one I had before the update. I decided this time to do something brand new that takes advantage of some of the new features in 116. And this farm here is designed by Nemo MC, my good friend Nemo MC, who's, who's like the Superman when it comes to farms and that sort of stuff. I'll link a description to his tutorial down below in, in the description. I'll link to his, his tutorial down below in the description. Anyway, the only thing I will say, get a pair of Frostwalker boots. I didn't have one pair and, and I gotta say the first, the first like hour of placing down these magma blocks were were really annoying but once you have Frostwalker it's 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 a lot a lot simpler anyway the way it works is that pigmen spawns on the magma blocks and only pigmen and chickens can spawn on the magma blocks because in 116 mobs that take damage from the block for example a wither rose or a magma block can spawn on top of it and so we're, we're taking advantage of that and using magma blocks for for the spawns and pigmen don't take damage at all so they they just they just run in and they and they die basically this farm also requires a very very comprehensive and advanced pickup system of doom because of the fact that well it's it's it's, it's quite fast now this farm is a little bit different than a normal pigmen farm instead of the player angering the pigmen they get angry at the turtle eggs and fall down a drop shoot in the middle and although the rest of the time that was sped up this footage here this is not sped up this is normal speed and yeah this farm is ridiculously ridiculously quick about eight times faster than my old gold farm and that's good because because hoglins we we need a lot of gold now that we can actually use it in a in a much more 
much more official way. But look at all of these pigments. They are walking into the middle, attracted by the little the little turtle legs that, that they can never get to. You guys are so dumb. They fall down all the way in the drop chute and at the bottom they die. But there's more. This farm, I, I should I should probably lower probably lower the volume here a little bit. This farm also has a mode for player XP kills. So if I press this button here and stand here, honey blocks are extended underneath and well, now I can stand here and kill Pigmen. This is so satisfying. Now, the only drawback from the one I had before the update is that I can't AFK to get XP. But, I mean, still, still, it's 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 just so ridiculously quick. Now, the reason it stops and isn't, like, consistent here is because I need to do a bunch of spawn proofing. I need to do a bunch of spawn proofing underneath the nether in order to remove all possible spawns elsewhere so that all spawns are located up here. But because it is a duo farm, it also has the whole AFK ability, which is this little area that I've built up here. And because I'm now very far away from the nether ceiling, well, now we're getting the full effect of all the spawns. So once I've spawn proofed underneath the nether a little bit, this is the rate. If you can, if you can see, we, we have to zoom, we have to zoom in using, using this. It's very hard to see, but you can see the speed of it if I would spawn proof underneath, which I'm going to do. In fact, I'm, I'm planning, at this moment in time, I'm planning to do a stream tonight, the night where this video releases. I'm going to stream, live stream, spawn proofing everything and testing it out and seeing the rates fully blown when I stand down there using a looting sword to kill them. So, if you want to be part of that, I don't know exactly what time I'll start. Just go to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash escalated5. Make sure you follow the channel and that way you will get notified. Right, anyway, I am dying to see how much... Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me! I've got this amount of gold nuggets. I haven't even been AFK for an hour. Maybe 35 minutes? That is... That is ridiculous. I gotta do it. I gotta change all of these into into ingots so I can see just about how much gold we've actually got. I definitely want to add on to this in the future, make like a proper shulker quick crafter of doom because look at the amount of gold! This is crazy! <laughs> this is absolutely mad! Right, in the short amount of time I have AFK'd, I, I don't even think it's been an hour. I'm, I'm not kidding, although there may be some gold from when I was building it as well. But in that short amount of time, I have got three full stacks of blocks. <laughs> Mega stonks. Now once I get the whole thing spawn proofed and I'm able to kill them using my looting sword, I'm gonna get even more gold. Even more than this. I mean, that's that's just ridiculous. And check out how insanely cool this redstone pickup system of Doom is working. It's putting the items in a staircase, pushing them down slowly, and then being shot over an item filter. That is just that is just the coolest thing ever. Again, Nembot MC is an absolute legend. And if you aren't already following him, I recommend checking out his channel down below in the description. I mean, this farm is so fast that I'm using four filters for just gold nuggets. And... I don't even think that's enough. I think I saw a gold nugget get shot out all the way over here. I'm so happy right now. I am, I'm back in gold and this farm is just, it's, what is it that Mambo say? I like that word, b b b bank b bonkers. <laughs> it's bonkers. The farm is mega bonkers and it looks really cool as well. Honestly, this this farm this farm looks as mad as it is. Goodbye, goodbye, one-eared man. Go jump. Yep, yeah, you can totally get totally get the turtle legs. Not. Hello, I have got some new fresh gold for you all. Now this little setup here is just a prototype of what I want to do, and at the moment it's already it's already backfilling. It's already backfilling with stuff. But what I could potentially do down the line is. I could automatically feed gold to these guys, so the gold comes in from the gold farm. They could automatically go to the go to the hoglings. They could they could inspect it and see if it's is it's is it real? Is it valid? And if it is, they'll give us all of the junk. I mean, good good stuff. There, there's a there's a lot there's a lot of good stuff that comes with it as well. I didn't think about this earlier, but nether quartz. 
I mean, you could trade it with villagers in block form, but you could never get the actual quartz stuff before, which means that you can now craft renewable observers and comparators, which is which is absolutely great for my redstone shop plans. Oh, and I just realized another thing, speaking about redstone shop, glowstone. I, I no longer have to make a witch farm. I could get my glowstone income from here to make redstone lamps. These, did I, did I say that these guys are great? Potentially even geniuses? You be great, sir. I like how they just look at you with those empty white eyes. Anyway, with all of that said, that is going to do for today. So, I really do hope that you have enjoyed the video. I've had a lot of fun in today's episode. It's been, it's been a bit of a grind, but I've had a lot of fun. Anyway, if you did enjoy it, do hit the like button down below. And, if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.